is actually getting more and more exciting. We have heroes coming in from all over the world. If anybody is nice to any of your kids in a very special way, send an email to twistedparenting at AOL.com. Remember to hide or change any details because we're going to read it live. So change any details so you don't give away anything if there's any privacy stuff. And there's going to be a raffle for all, all of these nominated heroes to win $5,000. Here's the heroes of this week. My Kip lived in California for a few years as she was seeing Dr. Melrose for treatment. She had jobs and friends that kept changing. But there's one thing there, though, that always stayed the same. The welcoming mat at a TP parent's home. Anytime our Kip, kid in pain, wanted a taste of home, a taste of normalcy, or fresh homemade food, their door was always open to her. She would stop by and help her girls with their homework, schmooze, play with them, and of course, eat their yummy homemade deli roll and more. She was like a mommy friend to her at that very vulnerable time. She truly loves her, and our Kip feels the same. This TP mom accepts her, and our Kip feels that. This TP mom admires her, and our Kip feels that too. So thank you to this very special TP mom all the way in California for opening your heart and home for her so she can have a normal, comfy island in the midst of stormy waters. She is one in a million. And the mother of this Kip is sitting in this audience. Thank you very much for sharing. When our daughter started to struggle, she got thrown out of high school. She went to another school and got thrown out of that one as well. She was back at home with nowhere to go. Wandering aimlessly in town, broken and wounded, she was smoking, using drugs, and looking for others to hang around with. Walking up the main street, she waited at the corner for the light. Stopped at that light was an old, old, I don't know how old, old, old teacher of hers. The teacher saw her roll down the window, I guess very old, because she rolled down the window, don't do that anymore. <laughs> Right, she rolled down the window. Where am I? Yeah. Hi, she warmly smiled. Need a ride? Come on in. With nowhere to go, our daughter got into the car. They drove, spoke, and the teacher thought of a school that she felt would be perfect for our daughter. She then reached out to the school, drove our child out of town on her own to go with my, our daughter to meet with the school and helped her settle into the new school. Beautiful. The school was indeed the perfect fit for our daughter. She grew and blossomed there, stayed all the way through, and went on to graduate and go to seminary in Eretz Yisrael. Wow. Today, she is solid, from, clean, sober, productive, happy, and a healthy adult, all because of a red light and a teacher who chose to stop, watch, and roll. <laughs> we want to nominate that teacher, the teacher who didn't stop caring, didn't give up on our daughter, even when our daughter looked very different than when she was in her class, and gave our child a green light at life. We are forever grateful. Two grateful parents nominate this outstanding human being who humbly and selflessly saved our daughter. Wow. That's amazing. Let's give him a round of applause. There are good people in the world, and there's a lot of other people who are good. They just don't know it yet. So be like these people. You're at a red light. You see somebody. You're walking home from shul. You see somebody. They don't bite. How you doing? How are you? Give them a hug. Well, you got to be careful these days, so make sure that that's appropriate. Be nice. Next, I would like to nominate Rachel Zelinsky. I knew nothing about her other than that she runs 1225 weekly, having girls gather and serves food. She either drives or makes sure that my daughter has a way there and back. In addition, she invited my daughter over for Shabbos meals. She's a true friend to my daughter, and she feels it. I don't know for sure, but I think she may do this for many other girls, too. I know nothing about her personally other than she's married and does have a family, and yet she does this for my daughter and seems like others as well. May Hashem give, give her the strength to continue and watch over her family as she is watching over mine. Beautiful. Invite them in for a meal. Dear Avi, we have sat through many group sessions where parents and grandparents are so saddened by the attitude of the siblings, the skips, towards their brothers and sisters in pain. We have a bracha, we have, we have the bracha of having a son and daughter-in-law who were born with TP neshamas. I didn't even know that's a thing. I guess you can request that now. 
<laughs> during during uh, pregnancy, say, or when you go to deliver, say, we'd like a TP neshama, please. They see themselves, and more importantly, their children, as part of the medicine that our kid needs in order to heal. Their home is always open to him. And when he won't come to them, they come to him. The healing that our kips, nephews and nieces, give our son cannot be measured. They adore their uncle and they offer 100% unconditional love. They bring him out of his depression with hugs, treating him like a jungle gym, and just showing their total adoration for him. This becomes, this is a highlight of his life. When you have a kid who's suffering from depression or feeling different, this could be the difference between life and death. Our daughter-in-law deserves extra credit as she married into a quote-unquote normal family and wound up with a twisted family. But she gets an A-plus in TP. She will make or bake things that she knows he likes and is so completely accepting of him. Our skip reads and watches everything he can get his hands on related to TP. The unconditional love that they and their children show our kip is definitely a large part of the medicine that has helped our kip begin to heal. It is because of this and the support they give to us that we nominate Ephraim and Yocheved Weiss as TP heroes. How beautiful. You know, the nachas that parents have when they see the healthy kids, the normal kids, having compassion instead of judgment, the nachas that they have is enormous. I tell siblings all the time, you're missing out on such kibud avaim. You're giving your, your parents such a nachas ruach when they see that you go out of your way to be nice. And there's... There's no greater mitzvah that you can do. Do it for yourself, be selfish. And there's no greater pain for parents when they see their children who are healthy, looking down, being busy, too busy, not good for us, we're worried about this, we're worried about that, and not having a heart. I've yet, I've yet to meet, I'm sure they're out there, but I've yet to meet a sibling that says, I'm, I'm really scared about my kids for this thing, but I say the whole Tehillim every day. I cry my eyes out. I take the kid out to ball games and I do everything, but I just don't want this, I just don't want that. It's either you got the heart and you realize that this is paramount part of, of Avoid this Hashem, or you're missing something. And the greater lesson is, this is all a mashal to Hashem. How does Hashem feel? When we, the healthy ones, the from ones, we're so busy being healthy and from that we ignore the fact that there are millions of Hashem's children, our brothers and sisters, who don't recognize Him. And we can be makar of them, the ones who grew up from and the ones who don't even know anything. And we have so many stories of people going out and with very little, very little, like what's the big deal? We can help these lost, lost diamonds find their way back to the crown. Besides for all the brachas, the Zaira Kadr says, and you don't need to be Chabad to be nice to not from people. You know, they stole this. You guys cornered the market. You just do it so well. But we all have to do that. And think about the Nachas Ruach to Hashem. Think about the opposite of the Nachas Ruach, the Agmas Nefesh. Hashem sees we're going in our minivan full of from people and, and we're ignoring the millions of people that are floating away. You either got to do the work or support the work. And it's a tremendous opportunity to show Hashem that we care. Okay, this worker in our local bakery in a from neighborhood saw me and my kip come in to buy something. That's always a scene. One of the hardest things in the beginning of TP is for the mothers and especially the fathers walking into a from place with a kid and especially if it's a girl who is not dressed, pro dressed and who's just, and everybody's looking, and, and you're taking those arrows that are being shot, like that famous eagle, right? Kanesha, Yorikina, like that's, that's what it is. You're taking the arrows of eye arrows, which could be sharper than real arrows, and you're, you're giving that mama bear look and that, that daddy bear look, like, listen, here, right? You give that look. So here we are. They walked into a local bakery. My daughter didn't exactly look like a typical girl from our neighborhood. She came in leggings, boy shaved haircut, and come on guys, you know this. Green hair. 
He started chatting with her, asking her questions, complimenting her on her hair, just being nice and treating her as if she was a normal person who deserved respect and dignity of a human being. It was so nice. It was something he didn't have to do. And he went out of his comfort zone to make her feel good. But what was really special was that he knew how it was making me feel that somebody was being nice to my kid. When people in our community are nice to our kids in pain, it draws them back to want to become part of our community. It meant so much to me, as it wasn't easy walking with her that way into the main avenue, into the local bakery. So he made my life easier. So thank you very much, and we nominate him. His name is here. We nominate him to be a TP hero for $5,000. Remember, if you have anybody who's nice to any of your kids anywhere in the world, something really special, please send in to twistedparenting at AOL.com. Inspire other people to realize that we can be nice. And you know what it is? When you're nice, it really matters. It matters the most to the parents. When you're nice to somebody struggling, it makes parents tear up and cry, right? Because we need that. We need Claudia Israel to be nice to our kids. Is that too much to ask for? I don't think so.